Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door hinge in a Whirlpool dryer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door hinge. This is a complex door hinge that connects the door to the dryer's front panel. The hinge allows the door to swing open completely out of the way. Check and replace the door hinge if the door won't stay in place or won't close properly. To get to the part, we need to open the door. All right, so now we need to remove this uh, hinge from the cabinet. We have uh, five Phillips screws. I'm going to use the uh, this Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take out the screws so we can remove the hinge. Technically, we're going to remove the door with the hinge. Now I'm going to hold the door and the hinge assembly, and I'm going to lift it up. Next, I'm going to take it to the table, and we're going to disassemble it. Right, so I'm going to place the door on the table and your working surface. Then I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver, the same, and I'm going to take uh, the Phillips screws out, the small heads only. All right, so next we're going to lift up the inner portion so we can separate the inner door and outer door. And I'm going to take out the other door. We don't need it anymore for now. All right, now I'm going to use this uh, Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take out uh, four screws. I'm going to take uh, this, this side first. And I'm going to lift up the door so we can uh, have the hinge completely out. This is the old door hinge next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. The hinge is going to be mounted this way, and uh, it's very easy. You don't have to worry about matching the holes because we've got two pilot pins on the hinge, and there's a two pilot holes on the door. So what we need to do is just insert those pins into the holes. And uh, all four screw holes are now matched, so we just install the screws. All right, so we're going to install this uh, Phillips screw here first. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to turn over the door. And we're going to put two more Phillips screws in there using the same Phillips screwdriver. All right, so we're going to slide it outside a little bit. So we're going to bring in the outer door. All right, so we're going to bring in the outer door. And I'm going to install the inner door. And then we're going to uh, secure them together. And now we have uh, those five Phillips screws. And we're going to... Uh, Secure these two doors together. Okay, and now we're going to install the door onto the dryer. Right, so we're going to bring the door and uh, we're going to hang it on first before we're going to install the screws. So we got two hooks on the hinge and we got two slots here on the front panel. We're going to interlock it. And now we're going to secure the hinge to the front panel with uh, five Phillips screws using the Phillips screwdriver. All right, next uh, we're going to close the door. And now we're going to open it one more time and uh, 
open it all the way, and close it again. Well, we just done a perfect job. Lock the dryer in and check if it's drying properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.